guys, what's going on? My name is VK and welcome to a brand new Phenomenal Creations video episode. And this is the first episode of the Fusion 9 series. Welcome if you're new here and welcome for you that used to the After Effects tutorials and want to try out something new. Um, big news for you here, this is just an add-on, a series for the channel. I'm not stopping out doing After Effects. This is just a series Blackmagic asked me to do and I was like, hell yeah, let's do this. So what is Fusion 9 if you have never heard of it? A very small briefing over here. So Fusion 9 is Blackmagic Design's visual effects, VFX compositing software, which is entirely node based. If you uh, After Effects, which is layer based, it's you know, you, you, you stack layers on top of layers to start doing stuff. But um, in Fusion, which is node based, you're creating like a mind map of nodes to make um, effects and footage interact with each other and start to affect each other to have the final composition. And Fusion is actually very uh, widely variety used in Hollywood feature films. If you've ever used um, or like looked and seen Marvel Marvel films like Thor, The Dark World, that is entirely composed with a Fusion 9 um, on their website that is said. And so that's super cool. And that's also what's super cool is that this is absolutely free to download. They don't make you pay for to have this software so you can get a very powerful VFX and 3D and CGI and and VR uh, experience VFX composite software for absolutely free. And they have a paid version, but the free version is like pretty much 90% without any watermarks or this kind of stuff. 90% about for the paid version. So you're lucky to have to have them give you that. So head over to their website and get it for free. Awesome. So this episode is a 101 getting started with um, the Fusion and welcome to that and let's go ahead and check out what this program offers us and how we start building our VFX from beginning to the end. So when in more episodes down, down the line we'll start learning how to create more VFX more and more and we're gonna learn together. Alright, so when you open up Fusion 9, this is pretty much what you see, a very default setting. You have four major panels and they all have different kind of tasks and, and objectives. So this is the biggest and the main area, which is called the flow area. And this is the flow chart. This is basically where you build up your mind maps, you build up your nodes and make effects and footage work with each other and interact with each other. This is the most used panel of them all. Then we have here a composition and another composition. These are just two viewer panels. So you view your effects and footage on these two panels. You can, for example, see the original footage here and you apply an effect in the flow, uh, flow panel here and you can put the, the affected um, viewer here on the right. So you can see like a before and after or you can have a full composition here like the final image and then you can, if you're working in 3D, you can have like in, in a three-dimensional view all the layers stacked uh, next to each other and this and control them that way and then you can see the final image on the right side. Very flexible super useful. Alright, so that's the two viewers. Then here we have on the right side we have the tools panel. So when you have a clip selected then you can uh, like have control over the scale, the rotation, some transformation, um, trimming options, where it begins, where it ends, you know, this really basic clip manipulation. But then if you have an effect node then you can, for example, a color correction node which we will be playing out without today uh, so then you can see the color correcting and parameters and the cycles and all the controls for the uh, for the effect inside the tools panel. Super cool, very basic. Then here we have the modifiers, which are basically add-ons for the effects. We have a whole separate video coming down the line when we start talking about the modifiers and the tools. So that will come later on the series. Then if we go back to the flow panel, here underneath we have our basically our media player. We can see the frame, uh, frame it's working on. You can hit spacebar when you have some footage in to start viewing some clips here. Then we have here on the right side we have the console. And this is just uh, putting up information and metadata 
from the composition, the cameras you're using, the footage, pretty much just an info info table of what you're working with. Not so not so very, uh, widely used and seen, but it's there. Then we have the timeline view, and this is pretty much just for you an overview uh, overview of what you have on your flowchart. So all your footage, you can see the durations. You can manipulate how to uh, move them around, uh, trim them from the beginning, to the end, and this kind of cool stuff. This is just like. But you don't stack the effects. That that's the, what the flow panel is for. You don't stack the effects here. This is just for you, can, so you can see um, the durations and the, the different clips you have in use. Then we have the spline area, and this, if you have used After Effects, uh, this is very uh, very similar to where you uh, edit the parameters of your keyframes. So if you have animations, you want to add. Uh, some curves uh, to the speed graphs. You basically you do you want easy ease, easy ins, and easy outs. This is very similar. This is the same thing you do here. You can edit your animation graphs here. But animation, a whole separate video. Stay tuned in for that one. Okay, let's go ahead back to the flow area. Let's go ahead and add some footage here so we can see and start see how this program really works. So. To add some footage, we're going to use something called a loader node. A loader node is used for to import any kind of footage here. And loader node is, you can find it here. And this top panel is, uh, for the record, it's just a compilation of uh, defaultly the most used effects. You can just drag on and dro uh, drop off here in the flow area. But, that's, but you can be edited in any time. So here we have the loader node, but let's use the first shortcut for you to know to get started with the software, which is shift spacebar. That will open up our select tool or our effects rack, so we can just uh, you can type and write and find uh, through hundreds of effects to quickly get the nodes into the flow area. So let's go ahead and type in loader and click enter, and that will open up our media file. Um, system preferences here and we can see the loader node coming down there and then we just have to find the footage you want to use I have here some DJI Mavic footage so I can drop that in so you can see the box uh, the node gets the DJI uh, the file name here and let's go ahead and see how we can maneuver a little bit what we can see here so if you click and hold you can move the node around the flow area we can right click and go to show and show a tile picture so when we put this into the viewers, you can see the thumbnail of the footage itself on top of this tile here. All right, so if you want to zoom in and zoom out on your flow area, you can hold your command or, or your control key and zoom in with the scroll wheel up and down to zoom in and out. If you, if you don't hold anything and you scroll, you can go scroll up and down. And if you have a mouse like me that goes uh, horizontally, you can also scroll horizontally to go left and right. Then, if you want to uh, have a, like a freehand uh, maneuvering, you can do it. You can click the scroll wheel, the middle button, and move it like this, like a free pan. Awesome. Let's go ahead and look and look on our footage. So we have it here, but we don't see this. That's because we haven't not activated this node to any of our viewers. This is easily done here. If you hover your 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 cursor on the node, you can see this little bar here with the two black dots. And this is like viewer one and viewer two. And to get this uh, this footage on the viewer one, we have to click on the number one key, like this, and then it will appear here. You can also click on the dots if you want to do it that way. You can click on number two to get in the number two here, and so on. So this is just putting them here and out. Like this cool so now we can see our footage and if we want to play our footage we can put the framing to the beginning and just hit enter or like not enter spacebar so we can see start seeing the viewing the clip itself here you can move forward really basic stuff and then you can see in the timeline also this clip here you can move it around and you can you can trim it if you want to you know basic stuff really basic stuff okay let's go ahead and add a color correction node just to see how the nodes connect then i will have a whole separate video explaining how the nodes work independently and how they work like this and like that you know 
But okay, let's go ahead and add a color correction node. So shift spacebar and find a color corrector, hit enter. We have the color corrector right here. Let's go ahead and show the tile picture. You can see something. You can move this through like here. And to connect to get this color corrector to affect our clip, we have to connect them. And um, for this getting started video, all you need to know at this point is that the left side, this is the input. This is where you get the inputs for the nodes and the right side is the outputs. So I want to output my footage to the inputs of the color corrector. So then this affects or the color correction start affecting this. But if I now start to do something, for example, uh, drop the saturation and, and jug up the contrast, we don't see anything. Since we haven't activated the color correction node to display in any of our viewers. Remember this. So we can, if we hover, we can see it's not uh, displaying on any, any monitor here. So let's click uh, number two here. Then it will display it for our our second viewer here. And we can, so we can see our original clip on the left side and the final clip on the right side. We can switch them around, have them both be um, um, on the, the viewers or stuff like this and or like this, you know, you have the control here. So, but now let's go ahead and take the contrast down, put up some gain, put up some gain and lift the gamma, make it blue, cold winter night. And then you can color correction, whole separate video. We have to go into that. I just want to show you how you can have these work around like this. So this is basically how nodes connect to each other. And this is the end of the getting started video. And thanks so much for sticking around. If you did like it, don't forget to like this video if you did. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't been here and you're new here and you're interested on how this works and you're le you want to learn new stuff, then this channel is really right for you. And thanks for sticking around this video. Uh, more videos are coming soon. We start building on our fusion knowledge here, but also this channel is, if you're new here, and but you want to learn After Effects and fusion, this is the right channel for you guys. My name is VK, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.